Big Bucks guy here. Um, yeah, I know what you're thinking. What is going on? Is this Coca-Cola commercial or something like that? Nope. There are actually Big Bucks games in here. Um, and this is a very short video. I only have this to show you. But I think it's, uh, it's some special content there is in here. And um, on another note... Um, to you that gave me a dislike on my last video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. You're the first person that has actually given me any sort of feedback on these videos. And I mean, it might be a dislike, but at least someone took the time to actually click a mouse button. So I guess it provokes some kind of feeling. So, hey, I mean... I'm just glad that finally some kind of feedback. Anyways, that's not what it's about. We can talk about our emotions at the psychiatrist. Here we talk about big boxes. But in here are some games which I, I just have no clue of how rare they are. Um, and especially in sealed condition. I have found something on eBay, but I mean, yeah, let's check it out. And again, the packaging here is very, very creative. I mean, props for saving on packaging and the environment. Oh, yeah. So let's, let, let me get this out on the table and we'll talk about it. So this is a bit of a weird collection. Weird, very weird haul. And for you... Um, non-danish uh, who are watching this this is called uh, jungle duo huko i don't know if this was ever anywhere else than in the nordic countries it was a very popular kids movie and it had a very catchy uh, soundtrack so it was very popular uh, this game is from 1994 and uh, it's in uh, actually quite okay condition considering what i paid for this and in here we have the content it looks like it was almost never played and we have a manual weird big weird big box opening i've never seen that before yeah maybe my son will want to try this that could be cool yeah oh that's nice this this is just this was just lying, I guess. I mean, I need to watch out. I don't damage this any further. But yeah, that's that's awesome. I thought she said that it was it was sealed, but nah, I could see on the images that it wasn't sealed. I thought that it was maybe closed with this sticker, but it wasn't. But yeah, funny. It's a very special big box. It's a very special one. Yeah. I have no idea what this is worth. This is, it's impossible to tell because again, with a lot of these big boxes, their worth is so hard to explain. I mean, let's take, let's take the, the next one here, Warhammer, Shadow of the Horned Rat. So I have this big box um, not sealed. And I mean, I gave a lot of money for, not a lot of money, but I gave, a decent amount of money for my first copy that wasn't sealed um, and I was the highest bidder because it mattered something uh, I used to play this game with one of my friends back in my childhood back in school so it meant a lot for me so when something means a lot for you you tend to devote yourself more you commit yourself more you, you, you throw more money at it so it's not about the rarity of it I mean you could maybe say about Doom, uh, the Doom games, the Duke Nukem games, those always sell and they are rare sealed, I know. But again, something like this can matter a lot to people and that's why they buy it. Not because of their rarity, because they just matter to them. So, again, if somebody watched this movie as a kid and he played this game as a kid and he meets another one, 
who did the exact thing. And now they're grown-ups, adults, they have money, they won these games, they've started collecting big boxes. If they meet in a auction of some sorts, the bidding wars are intense. But is the game, is the big box actually worth it? I mean, probably not. There are probably a lot of these lying around in closets uh, in Denmark or in attics or in basements, but, but they're just not sold that often. They're thrown out. So, yeah, it's hard to tell what, what their worth is. I, I wouldn't be able to, to, to know this unless I put it up for sale, which I'm not gonna. So, as we were talking about the Warhammer Shadow of the Horned Rat, and here we have it in steel condition, it was very nice. I think it was $20 or something like that, $20, $25 for this. So, I'm pretty happy, and my own copy is gonna go on sale, which is not sealed. Yeah. So I'm not a sealed snob at all, but there's still something, I just like this wrapping, this wrap sort of image of these boxes. So whenever I get a game that I really have some, some nostalgia about, I get it sealed. Yeah. Now, the next game here, it's very special because when I was buying this, this from, from this lady, the games that were in the offer was uh, Warhammer here, Furry of the Furries, and Mickey's 1, 2, 3s. And suddenly, when uh, I, have, I had already transferred the money, she uh, wrote to me and said, hey, you know what, I got some extra games and you can get them very cheap. You can get them for 30 bucks. And this was that one, this one, and this one. So the weird part is I had already bought the wrapped, uh, the, the sealed versions. I didn't really start to play games until 95, 94, 96 or something like that. Yeah, those were more my first gaming memories. So I, hadn't, I didn't know about this game. I had no idea this game, uh, what this game was. And this is sealed. And the weird was, thing was, she actually had the exact same copy, but not sealed. So we can check out what is the content here. And again, I have never played this game. I've never installed this game, but as far as I'm concerned here, there are two discs. Wow. Yeah, that's old school. I'm, I, I used to install games on these uh, floppy disks all the time. And here's a manual. I don't know if that's complete. What? What is this code list? Wow. Okay. Yeah, I just quickly went on eBay to uh, find out how much this goes for. And I think it was around $50 or something the last time it was sold. Uh, but yeah, when I saw it, I just knew I had to get it fast. And I was right, because I could see she was getting a lot of a lot of uh, requests. And another thing was this Mickey's 1, 2, 3's um, uh, by Infogrames. It's funny that name, actually. If they, I, I often wonder if they made a typo of some sort and then they just stuck with it. I don't know. It says that it cost around $50, so 50 krona, so that's around five, six dollars back in the day. Again, I have no idea what this is worth at all. Um, and she had this sealed and she also had a open version. So we can actually see what's in it. Hopefully it's complete. Let's check it out. Actually very nice packaging, very nice way of packaging things. Oh yeah, this is old. We have disc one and disc two. Wow. Whoa, that is some old shit right here. This is before my time. I never had something where you could... I, as far as I know, I didn't have something of this kind. Wow, that's amazing and it's in pretty good condition. I have no idea what this could be worth, but uh, I will do some research and I will be putting it up 
on sale, but it looks to me as if it's in a pretty good condition. Everything is in very good condition. These, uh, these games, I mean, they have been stored very properly for all these years. No damage from humidity and so on. It looks very good. Very, very good. I mean, not, not a big hole, but a special one. And a little bit different one. Not a very, very old games. And I'm usually not into these very old games, but I mean, uh, it's cool. It's very cool. Yeah. So uh, that's it for me. See you next time. Bye.